please tell me you watched this show. Let's go. You could get into the future. 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 Your mind is hot. Try to travel from a distance. Yeah. I'm going. If you didn't, then what are you doing? Go watch the show. Oh, you nasty. That's a Raven is a show that aired on Disney Channel from the years 2003 to 2007. This show was a smash hit and many people loved this show, including myself. The show was memorable because of the comedy and because of Raven Simone's star power. We remember how fun the show was, but it had its heartfelt moments as well. The realest episode from That's So Raven was in season 4 episode 21 titled The Way We Were. This episode was all about the character Eddie and him really dealing with his parents' divorce. I thought this episode was great and deserves a breakdown, so let's get into it. If you guys are enjoying the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share to all your friends. Yep, that's me. Before I break down this episode, we need to understand the character Eddie, played by Orlando Brown. Throughout the show, we find out Eddie's parents are divorced. In the episode called Separation Anxiety in the first season, episode 21, Raven has a vision of her parents talking about splitting up. Fearing her parents getting divorced, she confides with Eddie about it. She mentions that her parents never argued and Eddie replied with this. I don't think they hardly ever argued that much. Hey, my parents never argued either. So I never saw it coming. He admits later in the episode that he thinks he could have stopped his parents from having a divorce if he saw the signs. He also admits he's not okay with his parents' divorce, but he just deals with it. One thing I feel that's not talked about much is the child's psyche when their parents get a divorce. We usually see them in shows sad about their parents not together, but not how they really feel about it or how they deal with it. Because for a kid, it's very traumatic when their parents get divorced that it can affect kids with developing attachment issues, social withdrawal, and behavior problems. This can also lead to them having mental health disorders like anxiety and depression, which can follow them into adulthood. Let's get some honest feedback from someone who experienced this. Hi, my name is Millie the Mermaid, and I'm here to share some of my insights in my life and how I relate to Eddie. So from my experience, personally, my parents were never married. So I was used to living in separate households. Like that was just normal to me. I think from what Eddie was going through, he saw his parents together growing up. So it was just normal to see them being together, being romantic and everything like that. So when Eddie experienced his parents going through a divorce, I could see the devastation that he was going through. There was always a time that I wish my parents were together. I just felt like being an only child, it was it was hard growing up not being able to relate to other people because I thought that growing up, other people's parents were always together, they were married, and I just kind of felt like alone in that sense and I felt isolated. My vision of how I wanted my parents to be, I wish they were married when they did have me because that way I would not have had to grow up in separate households. My parents did. Um, experience dating with other people so I had to learn as an only child how to be raised in a blended family and being raised by other people who weren't a part of my family originally you know biologically so I did have that experience of being a stepchild at some point to the child I could probably equate the parents getting divorced like a death of a family member and are trying to process this new terrain of life or for lack of better words, grieving. In that way, they go through the seven stages of grief, which are shock and denial, pain and guilt, anger and bargaining, depression, upward turn, reconstruction and working through, and acceptance and hope. These stages are what Eddie goes through in the episode, The Way We Were. In this episode, Raven is throwing Eddie a party for his birthday. Raven then has a vision where Eddie's parents say they get back together, which gets Eddie's hopes up. We later see Eddie's parents at the party having a good time getting along, which Eddie mistakes as them getting back together in a pretty hilarious way, actually. Back together. Raven later lets him know she talked to his parents and they said they'll never get back together. We see Eddie go through three stages of grief he never dealt with. The first stage is shock and denial. This is the stage of disbelief or numb feeling. When he found out his parents were getting a divorce, he mentioned he didn't see it coming. So he was in disbelief finding this out. The second stage is pain and guilt. 
This is the stage you may feel the loss is unbearable and that you're making other people's lives harder because of feelings or needs. We see the pain in his eyes that his parents aren't together, even him admitting he wished he could have done something to stop it. So he blames himself from his parents splitting up. The next stage is anger and bargaining, which is the stage where you may lash out, telling God or a higher power that you'll do anything to, they ask if they'll only grant you relief from the feelings of this situation. You see the anger in his eyes because all he ever wanted was for his family to be one again. He, like many children, longed for it and hold out hope that it'll happen one day. When he realized that wasn't the case, he gets mad and leaves the party. In the midst of Eddie leaving, Raven has a vision that Eddie bought a one-way ticket to Albuquerque, New Mexico, fearing her friends is running away. They go to the bus station to find out Eddie was just there to get a hot dog called One Way so he could just be alone and think. You see, Eddie was in the fourth stage of grief called depression. This is a period of isolation and loneliness where you process and reflect the loss. It's here we find out Eddie was still blaming himself for his parents' divorce and thought if he was never born, his parents would still be around. This line shows everything he felt. It was. We're so close to being a family again. Just for all I know, it's my fault why they broke up in the first no. place. They were doing just fine till I came along. It's obvious. Your parents did not break up because of you. Look, Ray, I know in my mind that that's the truth. But in my heart... See, Eddie never really dealt with his loss of being in a nuclear family. So we can see he's finally coming to grips. His parents will never get back together. And that's devastating. This stage is the toughest because this is where we have to ask the questions we don't want to where we have to truly face ourselves and come to an understanding with yourself about situations. We see Eddie's friends cheer him up and he ends up in the fifth stage of grief, which is the upward turn. In this stage, the pain and anger die down and you're left in a more relaxed and calm state. Eddie finally opened up about his feelings with his parents not being together. This is where he comes to terms with this situation and not holding on to that hurt any longer. This is where Eddie goes through the sixth stage, which is reconstruction and working through. This stage is where you start putting the pieces of your life back together and move forward. This is where Eddie realizes that he'll be okay and that he has people that love him for who he is. At the end of the episode, Eddie goes back to the house where his mom and dad are waiting for him. They sit him down and let him know how much they love him and do the best they can to fill the need he's been lacking since he was a kid. This is where he enters the seventh stage of grief, which is acceptance and hope. This stage is very self-explanatory, but Eddie has accepted a new stage in life and is filled with hope for the future. This was a great episode as it shows a kid dealing with the nuclear family being lost. The only reason I understand this now is because I've been through it. While my parents never divorced, I felt what Eddie was going through. A video I did earlier in which I broke down It's a Wonderful Life, in that video I opened up that my dad passed away in a very sudden way. I wasn't expecting it. I was questioning everything, and I felt lost. I didn't know what to do and just feeling this sense of dread of what will happen next. See, I'm the oldest out of my siblings and I felt this unsaid pressure of you're the man in the house whether you are ready or not. I remember the shock and denial I felt with my dad's passing, like there's no way this just happened. I felt the pain and guilt where I blamed myself that my dad had passed. It's like you realize after the fact the signs were there and I blamed myself that I did nothing. Then I remember the anger and bargaining I did. I was so angry at myself, the world, and God. I was angry at myself that I didn't feel I spent enough time with him. I was angry at the world because most of the people I knew at the time didn't lose someone suddenly. I felt angry at God because I wasn't ready to say goodbye to my dad and felt like he took him from me way too soon. I remember the depression I had. I wanted to isolate myself from everyone. I felt I had enough problems on my hand that I don't want to deal with it. The sleepless nights of myself and my mom, the crying myself to sleep, and the realization that it even happened. This was probably the hardest stage for me and took me months to get out of. The reason I had reached the upward turn was because of my girlfriend, other friends, and family. They made me realize that they'll love me no matter what. It's so freeing to know that you have no idea. 
I've reached a reconstruction phase where I'm putting my life back together one at a time. I haven't been at the acceptance and hope stage yet, but I'll get there. It's crazy that even the thought of Eddie's parents getting back together gave Eddie so much hope that they'll be a family again. As I think back to this experience, I would have done the exact same thing. If someone told me I could bring my dad back for one second, I would feel just as hopeful as him. Something I've learned over the years is that you'll never stop grieving. Sure, days you deal with it better, but you'll never stop grieving, and that's okay. You're not crazy for not getting quote unquote over it, because the truth is you'll never get truly get over it. However, what you'll realize is that you'll be loved by your friends or other family members. You'll never be truly alone because you'll always have someone to lean on.